What pass? Hey, welcome to my channel. Did I scare you there? <laughs> um, this is my favorite part of the month. Every month I do these monthly readings and it is going to be your love forecast for the month of February. You know, February is a fun month. It is all about love and more. So we're going to see what your love life looks like for the month of February. Okay, so you guys, this is going to be your monthly love reading for the month of February. What I want you guys to do is focus in on these cards, and I want you to get a feeling. Think about your love life. Think about the questions you have about your love life, and then I want you to choose the card that comes to you, the one that you feel the most drawn to, and that is the most important. This is deck number one. This is deck number two, and this is deck number three. So I'm going to remove deck number two and three to the side so that they stay out of our way. Also, let me know if you don't like this bracelet. I'll stop wearing it, but I like the way it sounds. And we're going to look at deck number one. Also, everything is going to be time stamped. So if you want to go straight to your reading, it will be time stamped for you in the description, as well as a link to my website where you can get your own personal reading by me that is just all about you, totally customized just for you. So card number one, or deck number one, I should say. Let's see what we have here, guys. Oh, wow, this is great. I'm so excited for you. Oh, wow, this is really good. I feel like you have been going through a tremendously, I'm just going to move this over so that you guys can see it a little bit better. You have been going through a really bad time in your life, a dark time, a heartbreak, just, just tragedy. I want to even say trauma. And things have been really, really difficult for you. And I'm so sorry that that happened. But I feel like you're really getting out of that. I feel like you've finally kind of gotten through the stress and the chaos and everything that has happened and i feel like it, you know it, it just has been really 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 difficult for you unfortunately but i feel like you're so strong and you're really getting yourself together and you're kind of letting go of the past getting over that one person you couldn't let go of healing from your wounds and like you're just so strong right now and you're so in love with yourself you're so in love with life you're so in love with your future and you're just in a super amazing place and i feel like that's just what this card shows right here it's like you're just so appreciative and so grateful for everything and you're going to be starting a new relationship and I feel like this relationship is happening it, either it's somebody that you have just met or somebody that you will be meeting soon but it's like right around this person is right around your your aura your area and it's going to be the best relationship it's going to be that really good like true love love of your life amazing connection I whenever I talk to clients and they get hung up on a guy I always say to them, it's like you go to McDonald's and you think that that's the best food you're ever going to get in your life. And you're like all hung up on those chicken McNuggets. Like they're the best ever. And then you don't realize that the deliciousness that's right down the street, this gourmet meal that has so much flavor and texture and amazingness. And you're so hung up on these cardboard chicken nuggets. Um, and I know people love chicken nuggets, not hating on the nuggets, but I'm just saying you guys understand what I'm saying. There's something better and you don't realize it. And that's, I feel like you're in that place right now where you realize the better because you've developed and you've evolved and you've grown so much from, from where you came. And so it's like flowers grow from the dirt, you're blooming. And this new relationship that's coming your way is going to be absolutely amazing and wonderful and I'm so excited for you and it's going to be somebody that is going to be like not only a deep emotional connection physical connection somebody that's gonna be like your best friend somebody that will give to you and it'll be like a give and take which is great because you've had just a give and give so my hat's off to you I'm excited for you that was a really good way to kick off this reading I'm grateful for that because sometimes we have some hard times you guys you know what it is so 
This is deck number two. This is deck number two. So let's see what we have for deck number two. Okay. Here's what I'm getting. I'm getting not... I'm getting that you're still trying to figure your life out. And I feel like you're... You may be jumping from one relationship to another too quickly. I feel like you have a hard time being by yourself. Like the idea of being single scares you. Maybe it's because of the way you were raised. Maybe it's because you saw other people be single for too long and it's like it's scary to you to be single. And so I feel like you're just jumping, jumping leapfrog from one to another, to another, to another. And I feel like, you know, there's a saying that the best way to get over your old boyfriend or your old girlfriend is to get a new one. And that's true. It's 100% true. But if you don't take care of yourself and clear up the baggage, you're just going to be packing suitcases and dragging baggage from one relationship to another. And that's kind of where I see you are right now. I feel like you're just, you're making quick decisions, running away, jumping from one to another. And I feel like that's, casual dating is totally cool. If you want to date casually, if you want to have fun, just don't get into like a serious relationship at this time because I don't feel you're really ready for that as much as you want to find the love of your life I feel like you're jumping around so much there's so much energy swirling around you you don't even know really what you want and I think that that can be a really bad place to be in because you're looking for somebody to kind of complete you and that's you know that that line in that movie you complete me well that's not really how it's supposed to work you're not supposed to find somebody to to be your other half you're supposed to find somebody that is your like equal and then you guys are so good together because of that and there's always going to be a balance in a relationship but it shouldn't be that you need somebody to like fill in the the gap in your heart that that's empty you need to kind of do that for yourself so here's what i would say take a break you you can date if you want to but keep it casual and keep it easy but take some time maybe you want to journal maybe you want to talk to somebody but really take time and think about what you want in your life the type of relationship you want what's going to make you happy think about all your other relationships that didn't work and what was it about them that didn't work what's the common denominator that you need to kind of realize because you're going to keep meeting the same type of person until you learn the lesson so you have to learn the lessons and maybe you need to just take stock a little bit so just take stock this is a month for you to there's going to be lots of options for dating but it's more important for you to focus on yourself and what you want if you can do that then the relationship will come so much love to you. All right, guys. This is deck number three. Deck number three. Let's see what's going on here. By the way, I just want to let you know, again, if you do want to get a personal reading from me, you can just click the link below and I can do a tarot reading for you or a clairvoyant reading, whatever you like. Ooh. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh man, I feel like you're just not, you're very anxious right now. I'm going to say one thing, and maybe this will resonate with you, but I feel like you're scared to change. I feel like you're in a bad situation right now, a pretty bad situation. You and the person that you're with, there's just a lot of toxic energy. I feel like they bring out the worst in you. And I feel like you got to think back to a time when you were different, when you were happier, when you were more joyful, playful. I feel you naturally have a very playful, fun spirit and you're just an adorable person. But the person that you're with right now is making you so crazy that it's making you into a, a bish. I'm just going to say it or a jerk or whatever. It, it's just, it, you're so miserable. But as miserable as you are, you have a fear of, changing and leaving because you're afraid that if you do leave that the relationship is going to like the, the person you're with was originally good it was like a good connection it was fun it was enjoyable and then it got crazy and now you're just like you're afraid that if you leave they're going to get good again and you're going to miss out let me give you this tip if you don't forget about these cards for a second if you don't listen to anything else that I'm going to say for the rest of my channel history at all, listen to this. Every relationship 
starts out in a good place because it's fun in the beginning. You're getting to know each other. You're trying to impress each other. No person is going to be like, hi, my name is Nancy. I'm a money hungry hoe and I'm going to slash your tires. No guy is going to say, hi, my name is Larry. I have 17 sexually transmitted diseases and I went to jail for beating the crap out of my ex. Also, I stole her money. Nobody is going to tell you their skeletons right out of the box. Everybody, even if you know that they have skeletons, they're going to slant it like, I'm just such a nice person and I've just been through stuff and I just need somebody to give me a chance. Everybody is going to put their best foot forward. Every relationship starts off in a good place, mostly. So you cannot idealize that one little good nugget of happiness you had to justify 15 years of misery. Please don't do that. Whatever was good in the beginning, the person that they are showing you now is the person they are. The person they were showing you in the beginning was a lie. Just understand that. Don't hold on to false hope because they were nice once. That was a lie. That was just to get you in. The person you're dealing with now is the person that they are. And if you're not happy, get the F out. Back to the reading. That was my PSA. Sorry, guys. I'm a little, a little hyper in this reading for some reason. Okay. So back to the cards. What I'm getting here is a lot of anguish, a lot of a lot of toxins, a lot of toxicity, a lot of anger, a lot of people who are not able to control their emotions. That is you and them. And I think that you guys are just like, you know, siblings who just hate each other. Siblings is probably the wrong way to say this because you're in a relationship. You're like oil and water. You just, you're not playing well together and it's just not good. And you're bringing out the worst in each other. There's definitely time to really acknowledge that and, and be honest with yourself. You are going to find out a lot of information that you are not ready to find out. Stuff that you've been wanting to know, secrets are going to be coming out the closet, and the skeletons are going to be coming out the dirt um, or the closet, but you're going to be finding out a lot of stuff this month about this person, and that is a chance for you to just run. The universe always helps us out. It always helps us out, and it doesn't always help us out in the way we want to, but it does always help us out. In retrospect, it does. And the universe is going to make sure that you know the truth so that you'll be able to take that opportunity to get out. Please don't screw that up. Get out. Other, also, other opportunities are going to come for you, like whether it's having a place to go or having money to, to get out or whatever help you need to make this transition happen, it will happen for you. So just understand that this is your chance. And honestly, this last card right here, let it go. This is all about letting go, breathing and, and acknowledging that this is what has to happen. I love this card. I think this is such a good card and it's such an image that is so relatable and so easily to understand. And a lot of times if you're looking for wisdom, look to nature because nature is just the ultimate wisdom. And in the fall, the trees have to get themselves ready to endure the cold, dry winter. And they have to do what they need to do to protect themselves. And so what that means is that they really need to release the leaves so that they can survive. And I think that that's a good, Thing for this relationship so all right you guys thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up i love you guys so much i will see you in the next video